Hello student. In this section, let us talk about standard systems of gear tooth. All standard system prescribe involute profile for the gear tooth. There are following reasons for this. The first one, involute profile satisfies the fundamental law of gearing at any center distance. Second, all involute gears of a given module and pressure angle are completely interchangeable. Next, all involute gears of a given module and pressure angle can be machined from one single tool. Next one, the basic rack of involute profile has straight sides. It is comparatively very easy to machine straight sides. Next, a slight change in center distance which might be caused by incorrect mounting has no effect upon the shape of the involute. In addition, the pitch point is still fixed and the law of gearing is satisfied. Therefore, the velocity remains constant. There are three standard systems of the shape of the gear tooth. They are 14.5 degree full depth involute system. Second is 20 degree full depth involute system. And the third is 20 degree stub involute system. The figures are shown in the slides. Now let us talk about one by one. The first system is 14.5 full depth involute system. The basic rack for this system is composed of straight sides except for the fillet arcs. In this system, interference occurs when the number of teeth on the pinion is less than 32. This system is satisfactorily when number of teeth on the gear is large. The next system is 20 degree stub involute system. The basic rack for the system is also composed of a straight sides except for the fillet arcs. In this system, interference occurs when the number of teeth on pinion is less than 17. The 20 degree pressure angle system with full depth involute teeth is widely used in practice. The 20 degree pressure angle system has the following advantages over 14.5 degree pressure angle system. And these are, it reduces the risk of undercutting, it reduces the interference. Due to the increased pressure angle, the tooth becomes slightly broader at the root. This makes the tooth stronger and increases the load carrying capacity. And it has greater length of contact. The main advantage of 14.5 degree pressure angle system is its quietness in operation. That means it is less noisy. The third system is 20 degree stub involute system. The gears in this system have shorter addendum and shorter dedendum. The interfering portion of the tooth, that is a part of dedendum is thus removed. Therefore, the teeth have smaller interference. This also reduces the undercutting in this system, the minimum number of teeth on pinion to avoid interference is 14. The main disadvantage of this system is due to the insufficient overlap, the vibrations are likely to occur. So dear student, these are three different systems. Thank you.